ان الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفره نعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها فان كل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار وانما توعدون لات وما انتم بمعجزين Praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's the only one worthy of praise and seek his help, his guidance and his forgiveness. I believe in him and I trust him and I seek refuge of Almighty Allah from the evil of our passion. Indeed, whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides him to Al-Islam, no one can mislead him after Allah. And whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him astray, no one can guide him after Allah. I testify, O believers, that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah Rabbil Alameen. And I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger and the seal of all the prophets. O Muslims, you must know that the best speech is the speech of Almighty Allah, which is the Quran. The best guidance is the course of the Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is his sunnah, the worst of all affairs is innovation and addition to the religion of Islam. Indeed, every addition to the religion of Islam will lead to hellfire. I adjure you as well as myself to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To the best of your ability, fear Allah and don't die unless you are in a state of Islam. After this, I greet you all with the greeting of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty Allah be with you all. Inshallah, this is the continuation and perhaps it is the ending of our course concerning marriage in Al-Islam. And this constitutes class number 26 under subject marriage in Al-Islam. And today we're going to be talking about Al-Idda. Uh, of course, this is the Arabic term, and we want to know how we define the word Idda. Idda from counting, to count something, to calculate something, to try to know the certain amount of days and time. So it comes from Idda, Idda, to count. And the idda is the waiting period that a woman that been divorced or her husband pass away, it have to wait before new marriage or engaging engaging in or accepting proposal or things like this. So a woman after her husband divorced her. She could not remarry immediately unless she is going to be going back again to the same husband. But if she's going to go to a different husband, she have to wait for a certain amount of time which been directed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this can be three months. or three months, or four months and ten days, or 
نوع the period or delivering the baby. So there is different different idda to different women it depends in their case. And the idda is a must, there is no choice about it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it clear in the Quran in Surah number two in verse number two hundred twenty eight. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying وَالْمُطَلَّقَاتُ يَتَرَبَّتْنَ بِأَنفُسِنَّ ثَلَاثَةَ كُرُوء وَلَا يَحِلُّ لَهُنَّ إِنْ يَكْتُمْنَ مَا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ فِي أَرْحَامِهِنْ إِنْ كُنَّ يُؤْمِنَّ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَبْعُولَتُهُنَّ أَحَقُّ بِرَدِّهِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ إِنْ أَرَادُوا إِصْلَاحَ وَلَهُنَّ مِثْلُ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَلِلْرِّجَالِ عَلَيْهِنَّ دَرَجَةٌ وَاللَّهُ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيمٌ Again, this is Surah number 2, verse number 228. And divorced women shall wait as a regard their marriage for three ministerial periods. And it is not lawful for them to conceal what Allah has created in their wombs if they believe in Allah and the last day. And their husband have the better right to take them back in that period if they wish for reconciliation. And they women have rights over their husband as regards living Expenses similar to those of their husbands over them as regards obedience and respect to what is responsible. But men have a degree of responsibility over them, and Allah is Almighty, all wise. So, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is this very saying Al Mutallaqat, divorce women. Mutallaqat is a plural of mutallaqa. A mutallaqa means a divorced woman. Allah say, and divorced women shall wait for three menstrual periods. That means before they leave their husband's house. Before determin determinating the marriage before they go to receive a new proposal before another marriage يَتَرَبَّصْنَ بِأَنفُسِهِنَّ ثَلَاثَةَ قُرُوءٍ وَلَا يَحِلُّ لَهُنَّ أَيَكْتُمْ مَا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ فِي أَرْحَامِهِنْ In addition to this, it is not lawful for them, i.e. the divorced women, to conceal what Allah has created in their wombs, regardless if they are pleading period or if she's carrying a child, okay? But Allah make it clear that this only in regards of women who believes in Allah, respect the orders of Allah, if they believe in the day of judgment. And Allah made another point here that their husband has the right during Idda to take them back, even if they disapprove it. But it has to be first divorce or a second divorce. After third divorce, a man has no right to take his wife back. And we explain this in detail so we don't have to repeat it again. So we learn that Idda is a must. A woman, when you get divorced, could not be remarried unless her idda, a certain amount of time have to elapse after. Yes, there is many places in the Quran, but we give one of them. Why is idda? One of the main things to what you call bara'at al-rahim, to make sure that the womb 
of that woman is clear. The wounds that she is not carrying a baby from the previous marriage. This is something very important because we don't want to mix in between children. We don't know who's the father. So it has to be a period that will show that the woman is pregnant or not. Because if she is pregnant, she could not remarry until she deliver the baby. Okay? So this is something behind the purpose of Idda, waiting before remarry. The second purpose of Idda, that to give a chance for the man as well as the woman to see how is life as individual, not as a couple, and being not related to each other, they maybe miss each other, so maybe they will think it over and they get back again. So it's not because the man divorced his wife now, okay, let's go. But we won't give another chance that possibility that they may feel sorry and regret about what they did and they try to make it up. And also, a way of respect for the relationship between this man and this woman. She, she don't jump from a man to another man immediately. So basically, this is some of the, what you call it, a reason behind the idda. But regardless if we know the reason or not, we understand that Allah is the most wise one and whatever tashriya or legislation order that Allah given is for the good of us in this life as well as the hereafter. Now we have a different types of idda. We have some women who have irregular menses, bleeding period. So if a woman have a regular period comes every month so we say this woman, her idda is not over after divorce until she have three menses. Okay? Three menses. Now, other type of women, maybe after 50, a little bit before, the woman stopped having her menses. So how are we going to determine her waiting period before she take another proposal or marry another man? Say this woman have to wait for three months. Three months. Okay, the, three, the third type of idda for a woman which her husband had passed away. As long as she is not pregnant. When a husband pass away, a woman have to count for herself four months and ten days before she receive any clear, direct proposal for marriage. Now, the fourth condition, a woman, four months and ten days, yes. Now, a woman who is pregnant, her idda is to deliver her baby. Her idda is to deliver the baby. That means it can be a day or it can be nine months. It depends when her husband had divorced her. 
So the question may come, can a man divorce his wife while she's pregnant? Yes. But it has to be the pregnancy already been sure and clear. Okay? Four months and ten days from the divorce is pronounced. Okay, for the woman who her husband passed away, died. As for the pregnant women, whenever she delivers her baby, her idda is over. Now there is another type of idda. A man make a proposal for woman and they make the contract. And they agreed to marry, and he already makes the contract, everything. But for some reason, he decided to pull out of this marriage. So, in actuality, they did not consummate the marriage. And this he found it in Surah Al Ahzab. In Surah Al Ahzab, which is Surah number 33. And verse number 49. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذَا نَكَحْتُمُ الْمُؤْمِنَاتِ ثُمَّ طَلَّقْتُمُوهُنَّ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ تَمَسُّوهُنَّ فَمَا لَكُمْ عَلَيْهِنَّ مِنْ عِدَّةٍ تَعْتَدُّونَهَا فَمَتِّعُوهُنَّ وَسَرِّحُوهُنَّ صَرَاحًا جَمِيلًا Oh, you believe when you marry believing women and then divorce them before you have sexual intercourse with them. No idda means this divorce prescribed period. Have you to count in respect to them? So give them a present and set them free i.e. divorce in a handsome manner so a woman that is not being consummated the marriage there is no idda for her now what about a woman that the marriage is not been consummated and her husband passed away this woman she is going to have the second idda which is four months and ten days as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this is clear in Surah Al-Baqarah verse number 234 والذين يترفون منكم وذرون أزواجا يتربصن بأنفسهن أربعة أشهر وعشرة فإذا بلغن أجلهن فلا جناح عليكم فيما فعلن في أنفسهن بالمعروف الله بما تعملون خبير And those of you who die and leave wives behind them they, i.e. the wives, shall wait as regards their marriage for four months and ten days. Then, when they have fulfilled their term, there is no sin on you if they, the wives, dispose of themselves in a just and honorable manner, i.e., they can marry, and Allah is well acquainted with what you do. Now, there is some women, due to the fact that the old or the too young to have menses, in this case, they will go with the same thing like three months waiting period 
before they can remarry to somebody else. Now the waiting period, the waiting period after first divorce, second divorce, is going to be in the husband's house. Not because a man said to his wife, you are divorced, he kicked her out in the street. And I'm trying to see what is the verse. Uh, but before I forget about, we talk about Khul yesterday, which is a separation or divorce initiated by the wife. In this case, her idda is different. Her idda will be only one period because the divorce been initiated by her and she's the one who doesn't want to be with the husband because even if the husband want to take her back he could not take her back unless she make approval to this. Now, in Surah Al-Talaq, divorce, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us about not to put the women out of the houses during the time of divorce, if the first or the second one, they have to wait in their houses. And this Surah Al-Talaq, Surah number 65, Verse number one. Ya ayyuhan nabiyu iza talaqtum nisa'a fatallikuhunna li'iddatihinna wahsul idda. Wattaku allaha rabbakum la tukhrijuhunna min biyutihinna wa la yakhrujn illa an ya'tina bifahishan itin mubayyina. O Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when you divorce women, divorce them at their idda, prescribed period, and count accurately their idda period and fear Allah your Lord O Muslims and turn them not out of their husbands homes nor shall they themselves leave <coughs> except in case they are guilty of some open illegal sexual intercourse so the waiting period for the woman who is divorced is going to be in the husband's house and he's responsible to maintain her and to shelter her. Uh, basically, this is what I want to detail. They understand any more details, you can ask a question. And usually, these things understand is not for the fun or learning these things, but you should have a general idea and it will be taken by case to case to discuss the people what happened, what they need to do. One thing that during the idda, a woman is not supposed to go outside of the house without the permission of her husband and only for necessity or needs. Now, a woman is not supposed to beautify herself or take any proposal during the time of Idda, and especially a woman that her husband had passed away. Statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لا يحل لامرأة تؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر أن تحد على ميت فوق ثلاث 
إلا على زوج فإنها تحد عليه أربعة أشهر وعشرة This hadith in the collection of the Imam al-Bukhari That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying was the meaning is is not permissible for a woman who believes in Allah in the day of judgment to have hidad mourning or uh, if somebody can help me with the proper word or grieving over a husband a dead person more than three days unless he is a husband she have to you grieving and mourning over her husband four months and ten days does not mean she have to be crying and weeping and shouting that mean not to be taken lightly not to be beautifying in herself not to be stepping outside and socializing and things like this she have to because the husband have very very great right over her his wife even after he died inshallah if anybody have comments correction you may ask inshallah and like i said spending sheltering all these things is the duty of the husband as long as she is after first divorce is second divorce okay and also a woman who is pregnant her husband is responsible of her until she deliver her baby and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best now as I stated this is class number 26 under the subject of marriage in Islam uh, I don't know maybe I will think about other things related to the subject will bring it otherwise I think we have covered many things related to the issue hopefully inshallah that it can be beneficial and I'm going to try to bring all these classes together and put them in one of the site it can be a reference inshallah to the Muslims who want to see or to learn or to advise somebody about things related to this inshallah if anybody have any comments question concern the subject inshallah you may send it now jazakumullah khairan this sound good like usual that nobody is there or that is no question so inshallah hopefully we can see you again when I don't know but I will try to be back inshallah subhanakallahumma bihamdik nashadu an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk